The following video is not endorsed by Niantic, Game Freak, the Pokemon Company, nor Nintendo. Hi everyone, Lewis here and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. This just in, yesterday Niantic has announced the next Community Day and it's going to be Bagon. Like this month's Community Day, it will be from 3pm to 6pm in all time zones. Confirmed for this event, Shiny Bagon. Bagon will spawn more frequently. Lore modules will last for 3 hours, evolve Shellgon all the way up to Salamence during or up to 1 hour after the event to obtain the to be announced move. In other Pokemon news, there are two events I will also be talking about that have been confirmed. The first is the bug type event which will be called Bug Out which starts from next Tuesday, April 2nd and ends on Tuesday, April 9th. The start and end times for this event is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast or 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the West Coast. Details about this event so far are more Bug-type Pokemon will spawn frequently, hour-long incense, and limited-time Bug-type field research quests. As of this recording, no new shiny Pokemon have been announced for this event. The other will be the second annual Earth Day event announced by Niantic themselves from April 13th through April 28th. This event doesn't just cover Pokemon Go, but also Niantic's other game as well, Ingress. 2,000 players who attend and clean up the rewards for Pokemon Go will include increased ground-type Pokemon spawns, while for Ingress, increased chances of different items from hacking portals. If 5,000 players attend and clean up, the rewards for Pokemon Go will be Shiny Diglett, which confirms a new Shiny Pokemon is coming. For Ingress, two times AP linking, and lastly, if 7,000 players attend and clean up, two times Stardust and Candy for event spawns in Pokemon Go, and in Ingress, two times AP fielding. One more thing, episode 31 of my play series has to be redone as the footage I thought I shot on my action cam for Dialga and much of Community Day wasn't on my camera. Instead, I will focus on the cast form and low tad field research day events after I get back from the Meadowlands for Beneath the Sea, which will close out episode 12 of my main series. I may also do a prediction video on some of the Community Day starter Pokemon for possible shiny and moves if they are coming to the game later on this year up until next year. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Remember, it's time for adventure!